Hi everyone, this is Jeremy85. My RAM pickup is now equipped with an onboard air source kit, including a compressor in the engine compartment and an underfloor air pressure tank. You will find the links to the videos at the end of this video. Now I want to install a quick connector air terminal in the truck bed. Therefore I ordered a few parts. This quick coupling will be installed in the bed. It consists of a brass coupling and a 90 degree angle with three holes to screw it on. All threads are 3 8 inch. To connect this coupling to the air tank on the passenger side, I use this polyamide hose. It is 8 mm in the outer diameter and it's made for operating pressures up to 275 psi. The maximum pressure put out by the compressor that I installed is 200 psi, so it's fine. This line will be connecting the tank to the coupling with these screw-in quick connectors. First I need to find a good spot where to mount the terminal. I want to prevent dirt from entering the coupling, therefore I rather choose a place inside the cargo box. That way the terminal will also be easy accessible even with the tailgate open. Here I have a wooden box on which I will mount the coupling. That way I don't drill through metal and avoid rust problems. With three wood screws I mount the brass angle, while I make sure that it doesn't stick out too far into the cargo area so it won't be in the way later. I make sure that the coupling sits nice and tight since connecting hoses will apply some force to it. I use Teflon tape to seal the components well and screw down the coupling and connector. I also install a connector onto the tank with some Teflon tape. Now I start from the truck bed to run the airline to the tank. I push the line through an existing hole in the corner of the truck bed and then down behind the tail light. Under the bed, I run the line through one of the cross metal supports to the other side, then towards the front to the air tank. Be careful if you try to pull the line further that you don't kink it or scrape it on a sharp edge. I insert the hose into the quick connector and secure it with zip ties to the frame or to the existing lines here. This is important so that the tubing is not loosely hanging around or wears off due to vibrations somewhere. The line must be secured all the way to the back then I can cut it to the right length. The hose should not be squeezed when cutting, because it should fit nicely in the round quick connector. Since no professional hose cutter is present here, I just use these sharp pruning shears. Works pretty good. Then the end can easily be plugged in. Reinstalling the tail light real quick and I'm all finished. I let the compressor run to build up the pressure in the tank. Normally there should be no air leaks. I did not notice any hissing sounds, but I'll see if the pressure stays the same in the tank for a while, then it's fine. Now the new terminal can be tested. For that I can connect the spiral air holes and can now check the tire pressure, inflate my air springs, blow off dirt from the truck bed or inflate the tires of the lawnmower. I'm happy with my new handy connection and I hope this video was helpful to you. Please check out the install videos on the air tank and the fire air compressor if you like to. Just wanted to let you know I appreciate every thumb up every subscriber and every comment. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Ceramic 85 signing out.